Hey guys, we got a Corbin Russwin lock that was sent to me by Jeff Moss. He sent it as a challenge lock and he sent me the keys for it. Uh, operating key very, very smooth. And he also sent me a, uh, a control key. And you can see it moves a little arm out of the way there. Uh, let me give you an idea what the pinning. This is the control key, a little C on it. So pretty radical bidding on that one. And the operating key no less radical. But let's see if we can get into this lock without those keys. So I'm going to clamp this up on the top of the LFIC using the top portion of the cylinder. And then once I get it in there, I learned this lesson the hard way. After you think you've got it clamped down, go ahead and try your keys again. Make sure that your core rotates freely. Uh, I picked, I've picked on these things for hours and the core has been literally crushed or the, the locking pawl has been compressed in the clamp and, uh, and it uh, locks all the pins in place. And so that was a wasted effort. So just double check by using your key. All right, I'm going to use bottom of the keyway. Uh, I don't know whether we're going to get this to control or operating, but let's see what the lock wants. I'm going to use a 15 thousandth because it's a pretty paracentric keyway, and that's the same reason I'm using bottom of the keyway tension, because to get around that corner, I'm going to actually be pivoting off of the tension wrench. Okay, let's get everything centered here. All right. Get the pick all the way to the rear. Okay, apply a little bit of tension, and let's see who wants to be picked first. I'm looking for a binder, just like any other lock. And it feels like pin 2. Okay, I think he said. I'm on pin 6. Okay, he's set. Looking for the next binder. Springy, springy. Okay, I must have overset. Go back and take a look. Or I missed somebody. Okay, there was pin 2. was uh, one that was hanging out there. Okay, next binder. That 3 feels like he's all the way on the bottom. He does not want to give anything up. Bringy. Should indicate I've probably already. There we go. Well, looks like, fellas, looks like we got control first. Uh, it's not under spring tension, so I can remove it from the vise. You can see we got it turned, and the control arm has moved out of the way. Let me roll it back. So there we go. The Corbin Russwin challenge lock from Jeff Moss. We got it to control. And you know what? I suppose we ought to go ahead and gut it just to prove that I didn't modify any of the innards. Let's see what we're going to need here. Screwdriver. Of course. Of course. I really want to pick it to operating first, but uh, <laughs> since it came to control, that's just the way it's going to be. Okay, move this out of the way. Yep, that's right. Okay. I'm going to make the key out without dropping anything. Didn't feel like any security pins. Let's turn this around and do it in sequence, Bill. Okay, one. Okay, that was the easy part. No security pins there, nothing unusual about this core. Jeff didn't counter mill it or thread it or anything like that. And here comes the fun part. This is the part that always makes me nervous on these uh, LFICs. If you don't get the pins in order, then it becomes a nightmare to put it back together. Pin one uh, is not going to be an issue because he doesn't have that core. It's a standard. Pin two also, sh uh, no, pin two becomes part of the um, core, the removable core, so I need to get them in sequence. There's the first one. 
Okay, nothing in there but a spring on that one. <sighs> nope, not true. We have a little wafer. Now I've already screwed up. I don't know if he was in the bottom or the top. I think he might have been resting on the lip of my... Yep, there we go. Of the uh, plug follower. Okay, the first one for pin 3 is that little wafer. And then we got a big one. Okay, pin four doesn't want to come out. He's laying flat. Okay, now our core comes out. And now we've really screwed things up. So it's going to be a matter of trial and error to get this thing back together, fellas. This always happens. Okay, we did have another wafer in there somewhere. No idea where that goes. And then the last one always under very strong spring pressure. Alright, there's what it looks like. And the teeth interlock there for to rotate. Fellas, I have no idea how, what sequence these went in, I'll be honest with you. Um, I don't know where that came out from, but no, they're all standard pins and no security pins in this thing whatsoever. And now I'm going to try to put it back together and see if I can't pick it to operating. In the meantime, everybody stay safe and for goodness sake, stay legal.